all this is Joseph this is just another update on uh, myth TV uh, QML um, I have started adding in uh, QT creator into the mix um, so that uh, we'll have our own IDE for the thing that I'm planning on doing here as you can see I've uh, altered some of the zero comp files and uh, added my own and also some of the core plugins I've altered and then also adding my own plugin here too to QT Creator and it also has the object uh, or I'm sorry whatever you want to call it to be able to launch whatever it is you're trying to launch at runtime um, so without further ado let's uh, compile this thing uh, it's been compiled because I didn't want to show how long it would actually take to compile it takes a little while um, so yeah, once this compiles, um, as you can see down here, it's uh, compiling Qt Creator. And uh, once it's done, it's going to launch the front end that I'm making. And here's the front end. And we're just going to close this down for now. Over in a terminal, you can see that I've got it underneath my build direct. Here it is, right here. And if we just do a list, you can see it built Qt Creator. And we can run Qt Creator now. And, uh, of course, this is debugging, of course, and I'm also having some real trouble getting uh, my SQL to register, uh, the driver to register. It's giving me a pain in the butt. Anyways, uh, here's a plugin, and as you can see, I learned today that you can uh, embed uh, QL uh, declaratively into Q widgets, which is awesome. As you can see, I just did a little test here with a rotation there. Um, the welcome screen gives us uh, you know a little bit about it uh, we can run our fill uh, we can SSH into our back end we can uh, op launch open the wiki and it'll launch it in a browser that's going to be changed um, and then of course you can learn more about the SDK and you can see there we go it's been launched in a browser um, if we look over here at the database, this is broken at the moment. I can't get the driver to load, but once I do, you'll be able to look at all your tables. Uh, this box right here, this uh, will drop down, and then you can pick the table that you want to look at. Say if you're altering a table and you need to look at it afterwards. Uh, the services API goes without saying what it is, but as you can see, it's completely plugged in, reading uh, the WSDL right over the network. It's actually kind of handy. I've used it already. Uh, and uh, yeah, that's it. And then we got a uh, little help thing up here. Um, tells you about Q, or I'm sorry, tells you about uh, Myth TV and what it does. And uh, oh yeah, and then the last thing, um, if we go to new file and a project, you can see right here we have Myth TV uh, theme QML. This will set up a uh, framework for you to be able to make themes within QML. Um, and then of course you can see you can also make them in HTML5. Um, and all sorts of other different things. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, take care. Be nice to everybody out there. And uh, enjoy yourself.